Hello students and welcome to this calculus lesson. In this video, we're going to be looking at an actual related rates problem. See how it comes up in real life. Without further ado, let's get started. So we're given here air is leaking out of an inflated balloon. So I'm gonna first, as I read this, I'm gonna note things that are actually really important. So we know it's things are leaking out. So to me, that's going to be uh, negative because something is decreasing, all right? And then um, we know it's in the shape of a sphere, okay? Um, and we know that the rate is going to be 230 pi cubic centimeters per minute. So the rate at which the air is coming out, and since it's cubic centimeters per minute, that is going to be the change in volume. It's a rate, so it's a change in volume. So I'm going to write dv dt. Now at the instant when the radius is four centimeters, so the radius is four centimeters, that's going to be the radius R. What is the rate of change? So what is the rate of change of the radius? So the rate of change of the radius, that's going to be dr dt, the rate of change of the radius with respect to time. All right, so we've identified all of the variables kind of involved in the pro in the problem. We are given a radius, okay, and we are given volume, all right? So those are the two big things that are above that we want to take a note of. Now, we want to identify which, if any of the variables in the problems, remain constant. So what's happening is this balloon is leaking air, and it's blowing air out, and so... Um, nothing's staying constant. The volume is decreasing. The radius of that balloon is decreasing. So nothing remains constant. So now we want to identify the rates that are given and what we want to find. So let's let's write down what we're given here. Okay. So we are given dv dt, the change of the volume with respect to time. And I'm going to write down. Okay. What? What was it above? What was that value? Well, that was negative 230 pi. And in terms of the units, that was going to be cubic centimeters per minute. And it's asking us to find, what is it asking us to find? It's asking us to find the change in the radius. So dr dt, that's what I need to find. And so write an equation. Usually that's going to be a geometric formula, okay, that we want to... Um, that we're going to want to use. So it said the volume of a sphere. So look in your last page, look in your notes and figure out what is the volume of a sphere. All right. As I said before, that's normally going to just be given to you. So you don't really need to memorize those. And what, what you want to know is that sometimes all these things will probably be useful. Substituting values. It's important that you can solve for one value in terms of another. All right, but here we're going to say, okay, V equals four thirds pi R cubed. That's what we're looking at. So now from here, what you want to do is just differentiate that formula. Okay, so we've done it before, but I'm going to write it again. DV DT equals bring that three down. So I'm going to get four pi R squared and then dr dt and this is what i was saying this is why it's important not to just memorize all those formulas but to actually know how to take that derivative implicitly okay so when we're doing this um, now that we've taken it all you need to do is substitute in all of those values that you are given right we're given dv dt that is negative 230 pi and i like to put the rates in here all the time so cubic centimeters per minute and that was equal to four pi okay and then we're going to get four centimeters squared because that's the radius if you go back up and you look at the problem that was one of the things that we underlined the radius is four centimeters right there all right so we know that that's something that we're going to be working with so four centimeters we're going to square it and we're going to go dr dt okay so now I just want to solve for this and look at how I do this uh, very specifically. So I'm going to go negative 230 pi cubic centimeters per minute. Nothing really changes there, okay? But I'm going to go 4 pi and then that square goes to both the unit and the value. So 4 centimeters squared, well that's going to become, the number is going to become 16 and it's going to be square centimeters now. 
All right, so dr dt. Now I'm gonna multiply four times 16, and that's going to get me 64 pi square centimeters dr dt on the right side of the equation. And then on the left side of the equation, nothing has changed yet. So uh, negative 230 pi cubic centimeters per minute. Okay, so now what do I wanna do? Well, I want to solve, right? We wanna figure out what is dr dt. So I'm gonna divide by 64 pi square centimeters, okay? So notice here what I do, I'm gonna go 64 pi square centimeters, all right? And I'm gonna do it over here on the left side as well. Divide by 64 pi square centimeters. And this is why I keep the units because if you notice, I've got cubic centimeters over square centimeters right there. Well, cubic centimeters over square centimeters I'm just going to be left with kind of like if you had x cubed over x, you'd just be left with just the centimeters there, okay? So I'm going to keep note of that and the pi's divide out as well, okay? So if I'm going to actually put this into a calculator, what would we get? Well, we would get negative 3.594 centimeters per minute. So again, we have found, we have found what is the rate at which the radius is changing exactly when that radius was four centimeters okay so this balloon is this big right and it's this big and it's as it's getting down and it's squeezing that air out once it gets down to four centimeters okay what might happen is that as the balloon's getting getting smaller and smaller and decreasing in size the rate at which that radius is changing um is going to be different at every moment in time. So if we, we stop the time exactly when that radius was four centimeters, we know the rate at which that radius is decreasing, is decreasing at a rate of negative 3.594 centimeters per minute. So after another minute, we would expect it to get about another negative, another 3.6 centimeters smaller, depending on some other variables like how big is this balloon to begin with? Is it a hot air balloon? Is it just something that we blew up with our, with our mouths or something like that? So that's gonna be the first problem that you're going to see with related rates. And we're gonna look at a lot more like this, breaking it down in the same way. I reading the problem closely and identifying what variables you need, taking the derivatives implicitly, and then substituting our values and just solving for what is missing. So stay with it in the next video. There's going to be a lot more examples. If you do need any help on this example, if you have any questions, please reach out to me. I'm Mr. Hernandez, and this was Mr. Hernandez Teaches.